The vaccine remains the best line of defense against COVID-19, but could a supplement help keep the virus at bay? Some natural health experts and Metro Detroiters alike say not enough is being said about nutrient deficiencies and the power of dietary supplementing, especially at a time when breakthrough infections have become the norm. 7 Action News reporter Amira David has a look at the natural preventative measure you may not be leaning on that could do you a lot of good. Selenium, zinc, quercetin, vitamin D, vitamin C. These are the morning set. This is the evening set. Around the clock, every single day of the week, Katie Force White takes nearly 20 immunity boosting supplements in everything from pills and patches to nasal sprays and even needles. And this is an immune shot that I take every week. It might sound aggressive, but this is the only line of defense Katie has against COVID-19. The Macomb mom, who has had several embolism health scares, is concerned about vaccine-related blood clots. And decided that the vaccine's really just not for me. I have celiac, which is an autoimmune disease, so I wanted to do whatever I could to boost my immune system. Sterling Heights' Amanda Purnell has had the vaccine, but long before its release, decided not to sit idly by when there was something she could do on her own. Both women tell me their strict regimen is paying off. This is actually, in, in your view, helped you not get the virus when people around you have. Yeah, my, my household has had COVID. Katie and Amanda believe in the science of vaccines, but also believe in the science of supplements and say their ability to fight off viruses doesn't get quite enough play in messaging out of public health officials, medical professionals, and the media. One example they point to, vitamin D. I think it'd be nice for them to focus a little bit more on the natural supplements. Really nobody was saying this would be a great protocol for people to start taking. Dr. Fauci is on record endorsing the vitamin, but natural health experts tend to agree that the importance of putting good things in your body amidst a pandemic often flies under the radar. Is there a link at all between vitamin D and the coronavirus? When you have lower blood levels of vitamin D, your risk of COVID-19 is higher. Vitamin D absolutely is one of the, the powerhouses, I believe, for your immune system. And it's something that I think a lot of people have missed. Nutritionist Susie Dubias says it's one of the first vitamins she advises her patients take. Several studies showing vitamin D deficiency is linked to an increased risk of COVID infection, severity, and death. The National Institutes of Health says data are insufficient to support recommendations for or against the use of any vitamin, mineral or herb to fend off COVID. But in a world of rapidly emerging variants and breakthrough infections, many say the vaccine just isn't enough. Just because you have the vaccine doesn't mean that you're not going to get COVID. If you're not really taking care of yourself, then your immune system will be compromised. This is something that you can do that takes a few minutes a day just to put some supplements in your body. And I have yet to have anybody tell me that these things are bad for you. Studies also make a strong case for upping your intake of selenium, zinc, quercetin, and even probiotics. We have a link for you with a full list of supplements and the data that exists to support how effective they really are on our webpage, wxyz.com. I'm Amira David, 7 Action News.